Yeah, what up YouTube? It's your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, back at y'all with another Forza Horizon 3 build video, man. In this one, we are in a little replica RC car. Rest assured, this is not what we will be building today, because this thing, well, this is pretty much as nuts as it gets, man. In this one, I got something uh, off of my own personal roster. Now, I did win this vehicle in a wheel spin recently. Unfortunately, didn't get the turn of events on camera. However, it has just been itching at my at my mind all like ever since I got it. And I have to say, every time I pass it, I want to build it. And I say, you know what? I'm going to save that one for YouTube. So today, that's what we're doing. And that is the BMW M2 Coupe 2016. Now, as you can see, we got some insane paint job going on over here. Now, it looks like some nice uh, cr blue chrome, I want to say. Or maybe it's just really glossy. I'm not really sure. One thing's for sure, the paint is going to be staying on today's build. So obviously, you guys know how we do. We're going to jump into the upgrade shop first and foremost. Spend a little bit of dough on this thing since we did get it for free. We can afford to spend some cash. Now, we are not going to be doing a motor swap because this thing has a nice little turbo motor in it already. And we are going to we are going to stick with that as is. Now, rear wheel drive is something that I would like to see this car stay because I do want to drift it. And we are going to upgrade the front bumper looks like we just add on a little bit of splitters and black out that grill there i'm liking it let's check out our options for the rear here either the delete or the little lip i'm thinking that lip extension is going to be perfect for us let's check out our options for the rear bumper here now as you can see this rear bumper we're actually losing some uh, a little bit of performance well, gaining in performance points, but it looks like it's taking down handling, acceleration, launch, braking. That's okay, man, because it looks sick. The ricer in me is going to put it on anyways, man. So let's check. Oh, this is different. Look at those carbon fiber mirrors. Touche, Forza. Touche. So I'm liking that. Now, to set this thing off, we're obviously going to have to put on some nice rubber here. Get this thing up into the performance area that we want it. Now let's check out the front and the rear tires. Big them up a little bit. Now here's where everything is really gonna come in, like tie together. And I wanna see something a little bit different on here. Now the stock wheels on, like the BMW did a great job with these stock wheels already. But I'd really like to see something maybe a little bit aftermarket, something that we can maybe get a little bit of a bigger wheel size. At, to be honest though, those are low profile tires as it is. We'll be lucky if we can fit a fit a bigger wheel on here. Now these end keys are always a, a great choice, very light. Obviously, car guys know those wheels. Let's see here. Liking I'm liking these five spoke styles, but that particular wheel, I'd like to see it with a little bit more of a dish on it. Now I know I'll probably end up blacking out these tires because of all the carbon fiber accents and everything like that. So really the actual visual look of the wheels not really going to matter quite as much. But I'd like to see something that looks kind of nice and ties in with the vehicle, you know, properly. And oh, there we go. The Volk Racing. I like those stickers on there, man. I'm a sucker for rice stuff. So let's go ahead and add those up. 20 inches front and back please and thank you so oh we are not done here we're going to continue working so next up what i want to see is a clutch go ahead and add that up transmission i think the transmission for this car it's a pretty modern car bmw i think the transmission is going to be just fine for what we need it to do in this one today we are going to upgrade the differential though Brakes, you guys know we have to put on an aftermarket set of brakes and lower this thing just a little bit. Okay, lower it a lot. What the hell, man? Oh, uh, let's see. Anti-roll. I don't know. For some reason, the anti-roll bars are my new thing. I never used to do these, but now I, I kind of think it helps a little bit. Do a little bit of weight reduction. Get some of that German weight out of there. Now, first and foremost with this car, I did say it had a turbo. I wasn't lying. We are going to do intake and exhaust because that's how we do it. And then we're going to run down here to this turbo. Turbo, intercooler, maybe a little bit of oil and cooling. Flywheel, yes, please. Go ahead and install all of that. 
and I'm thinking just a little bit of race fuel system and the race ignition sitting pretty at 870 performance points that's pretty much good enough for me man that's gonna make this thing completely drivable in races and stuff like that but the main idea in this build obviously is gonna be to drift it so that's what we're gonna set this thing up for right now is to drift it now obviously we're gonna run a little bit of negative camber on there front and back springs i want to see this thing slammed i don't know something about this car i just think it needs to be low 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 and then we're going to put the acceleration all the way to high on this thing now this build is not entirely maxed out but it is pretty close like there's only a few things really that you know cams and a few other small things whoa 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 ew buddy excuse me i think we made a huge mistake there thank you thought that was the wheels there sorry folks Let's see if we can get these chrome chrome or the matte i'm kind of liking the chrome man let's go ahead and add those up there and the window tint and that is gonna be pretty much a wrap as far as the exterior paint goes now one thing one small thing i do want to do you guys know i like to get a little funky with the vinyl sometimes sometimes funky sometimes not today we're not gonna get too funky we are just going to keep it basic. So what we're going to do is apply the decals here. Top. You guys know I like to keep this roof nice and blacked out, especially in these imports, these Germans, these Japanese vehicles. I don't know, something about it, man. Just really sets it off. So as you're gonna, you guys are going to see here, we're going to have to get a little bit custom here. Not quite as easy as some of our other... Where are we here? Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's just not going to work. So we're going to go ahead stamp that down here do a little bit of spinny action see if we can get this proper little stampage there and a little stampage there i just want to keep this nice and quick for you guys you know just so when you're looking at it from the back it doesn't look too crazy not getting too nuts man you know i don't like to keep you guys waiting with the vinyls it's all about them builds man not the vinyls if you guys want to see a tutorial about vinyls definitely let me know i can do like a whole like 20 30 minute video where i just do a vinyl on a car so if you guys want to see that let me know if not you know don't let me know and then i just won't do it so yeah i'm thinking with that we're probably ready to take this thing drifting now before we do i just want to get a quick look at this paint job I don't know what this is from Factory, what they call this. If you guys are, you know, big BMW fans out there, maybe watching this video, maybe from a forum or something like that. Oh, this car sounds magic, man. If you guys know what color this is, drop it down in the comments, because this is madness, man. And once we get out here away from the festival, just get, get a little, get away from this noise, man. We're going to set a waypoint. I'm going to set it down here, down to the lower end of the map here. Let's go ahead and do that. That should give us a nice little trek. Before we get going, though, I just... Oh, man. I want to take a second to just appreciate the sound of this motor here. Now, BMW is doing some crazy stuff with the M4. This little M2, I don't know exactly the displacement of this motor. Let's just get a little sound clip here. I've said it before and I'll say it again, these BMW turbo motors nowadays totally are the new super platforms, man. This M2 a little bit smaller than the M4, but I test drove the M4 in a recent video, actually with the Forza Horizon 3 demo, and I said, I'm, I said, this thing sounds exactly like a Supra. And I can see that technology and that beastness has transferred over to this M2. Now, to be honest, I have not been drifting it. Oh, look out. Maybe we'll drift this corner. I haven't really been drifting it so far. You guys can notice that. I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit of a handful. See if we can get it loose here. Through the bushes. 
Oh man, this thing is sick, dog. What? What? That third gear is the sweet spot, man. You just bank it off that. What is this guy doing, man? Out of the road, sucker. You just bank it off of that red line. Now, obviously, we're just power sliding. I don't want to get too crazy in the traffic here. Oh, that would have been a nice little turn to execute a drift. Oh, a little wide on that transition. Oh, oh. oh my god, that backfire, man. This is a drift machine. We recently did a video, probably a couple days now on the channel, of a Viper drift build. I don't think I quite built that one entire like I was a little scared to build it this one I wasn't scared I figured this thing would might need a little bit of power and it actually worked this one worked so from now on I'll probably oh 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 rolls it rolls it on camera death count number one to the MC I probably probably going to be a little bit more uh, open-minded in the future when it comes to these high horsepower builds, man, because this is a very, very fun car. Just look at this. Oh, yes, man. Even downhill, no problem overpowering those back wheels. Yeah, that's what uh, Oh, we're dead. Yeah, toast. Death count number two. For that M2. I'm thinking this has been a successful build, man. What do you guys think? If you guys think this has been a successful build, definitely drop that thumbs up down in the comment section. We have just reached a little photo op area. You guys know how I like to steal people's driveways for a little photo opportunity. So that's what I'm going to do real quick right now while we put an end to this video. Maybe I'll steal this one with the delivery van here, man. So as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, don't forget to click subscribe. Um, and yeah, man, tune back in. Right now we're doing daily videos. As of right now, I don't know. I don't know how much longer I can keep going with the daily videos, but we are definitely trying, so don't forget to tune back in, man. All that good stuff. We just won 15 grand. I appreciate that. You guys know how we do, man. With that being said, I am your boy Denali, a.k.a. Don Squally. We're going to catch y'all mofos at the next one, man. Peace. Oh, oh, no. Oh, for fuck's sake, every fucking time. Showdown, bitch. Yeah, just keep on rolling there. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about the racer anymore.